Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is The World of Wayne. Today I'm going to be continuing Big Week, where I'm building models which are just unbelievably massive in proportion to normal models that we actually build. So today I'm doing the next six stages of the Agora models and Hachette Partworks release and build the RMS Titanic. Now we're going to be doing the bridge deck I believe in this one and I have got all six parts here which are going to put together. I don't think I need the actual decks that I've been working on. I am going to need the hole. There is some hole sections. But because this is big week I wanted to tell you about something else that I'm going to be doing that I will start doing on the channel just so you can see the progress. Uh, progress for the Americans. Progress. Second guessing myself now. Do you remember the Thunder Road from Explorers? This ship here, I built this ages ago and I absolutely love this ship. And it's quite chunky, it's about this big in size. But uh, I'm looking at my Vincent and I'm looking at the C3PO here and the R2D2 and I'm thinking to myself, we need to do it again but bigger. So uh, seeing as this is big week, I've started to do that. <laughs> as you can see, check out the size of this. <laughs> so I'm going to have this absolutely massive. Can't wait to get that finished. But once I've printed all the parts out, I'll go into the procedures of what I'm going to do to light it and uh, make it a little bit more dynamic than just having uh, what we've got down there. But uh, the Thunder Road, hey? Can't believe it. Anyway, we're going to be building the Titanic today. If you want to get this for yourself, I have put a link in the video description. And there's also a QR code on the screen. But without further ado, let's get cracking. So we're going to start with stage 81 and here is the magazine and uh, as I mentioned just at the start there we are going to be doing the first section of the bridge deck so we've got some sections of the bridge deck here that we're going to be putting together getting these in here by the look of this I am going to need one of the bottom decks here I've got them just under the workstation here so that's not going to be an issue so by the end it's looking just like that. And there we go look check this out that is what that's looking like that's <laughs> pretty cool isn't it right gonna put that to one side because I've got this little detail here which needs to fit underneath the promenade deck uh, and we're going to close that section off so let me go get that so giving you an idea of size that's what that's looking like at the moment <laughs> okay I need to carefully turn this upside down and it's just this area here that I'm going to be putting this plate in it's going to go over the top of the two lugs in like that held in with these AP screws And there you go, that's in. So just turning this over, that's what it's looking like from that side. I don't need this deck now, so I can put this to one side. But I do need now this bridge deck. And in here, you can see the indentation that I've got, which is going to be having some decking put in place. Now, this is only a small bit of decking. I do get a lot of emails from people saying, aren't you going to be putting wood glue underneath this? I only put the wood glue under the really large pieces of decking that could come up. But for small pieces like this, I don't think it's needed. So just ensure that goes in okay there. That's perfect on both sides. Make sure it's flat. That deck's in place. And that is all there is to do in that stage. I do like big week. <laughs> Stage 82. Going to be a lot more to do as we go on because we're going to start putting windows and stuff in again. So, as you can see in this one, we've got the second section of the bridge deck. So we're going to be putting some decking onto these pieces and joining these two parts together like this. We've got to glue some details in here. So by the end, it's looking just like that. So, I mean, these boxes are quite big that these are coming in, as you can see, against me as well. Really big deck pieces. And that's looking just like this. And what we're going to be doing is taking over what we did in the last stage and we're going to be piecing both of these together. So to do that, if I just turn that upside down, this way round, making sure it's this way round, this is going to be going on top just like that. And we're just basically joining all of these parts together here. Once you've got one side in, it should be easy to manipulate the other side to go in just like that. That was actually harder than I thought it would be to get that in. That was a little bit fiddly. Okay, we're going to turn this over. I'm going to be securing this in with six screws just into these holes here. These come in this pack. These are just the AP screws again. 
I will use my PH1 screwdriver on these and get all six of these in place. And when that's in, it should look like that. Okay, in this little bag here, you can see I've got two little metal rods. Now they're gonna go into the two little holes that we've got at the side here that's gonna bring this gap into place here. So if I just do a dry fit, it's gonna go in like this. And that's gonna hold that gap in, but we do wanna glue that into place. So I'm just going to put the second one. I've already applied some glue just to this side. All we've got then is two pieces of deck just to put in here. And I've got one to put in the other side just over here. So I'm going to do that now. Simple as that. And there we go. That's those panels in. That's all there is to do in that stage. In stage 83, here's the magazine. Just turning through. And we're gonna be doing details for the bridge deck. So we're gonna start creating the bridge deck here. Tiny pieces to put in just for some brackets there. Getting these into place. So by the end, it's looking just like that. Now we've got these bulkheads here, which are gonna need some brackets on them. So we've got a bulkhead looking like that. One looking like that, and we've got this one looking like that. Now, the good thing about these is when we put the brackets on, they are actually key holders, you can see there. So when we put them on, they're just going to be a case of matching up the shapes to get these in, like this. And I'm going to put these on, on every single bulkhead I've got. And you've probably guessed what the next stage is going to be. Once I've got those two on, and I'll do the same with these ones here, we're going to uh, screw all of these into place. Now, we're doing that with AP screws. They're here, so I'll get these all into place. Again, I am uh, using my PH1 screwdriver for this. I tend to find it works better on these bigger screws. But let me get all of these in. And there you go, that's all three of those in. Now the first two parts of bulkhead I need are these ones here. Bring over the bridge deck. And we're gonna have this one. Don't know if it's stamped actually with an L or an R, I don't think it is. But that's just gonna go onto here, creating that partition just there. And the other one is gonna go on the other side, just like that here. Again, held in with AP screws. They give you two bags of them in this stage. So two screws each side to hold that in. If I just turn this over, we're still working on this side, but I'm going to be putting this bulkhead that we created into the holes here. So this is just going to go in like this. It does take a little bit of manipulating to get that in. And again, AP screws to hold that into place. And then finally, to finish this stage, we're still working on this side here. I've got some lighting to put in. Now, this is just going to follow the pattern that we've got there. So it's going to go in just like this. Match it up and then clip that into place by holding the bottom. As you can see, one, two. And that's all clipped into place. We do have a wire for this here, which we're not actually using, but that's all there is to do in that stage. Now there would be a stage in this pack where we've got windows to do and a stage 84 is that stage. <laughs> so let's flick through the magazine. And as you can see, we're doing the cabin bulkheads and windows. So got two panels here, which are gonna need these windows put in. Once we've put them in, we're gonna put these bulkhead uh, brackets on just again, like we did last time and attach this into this inner section. So by the end, it's looking like that. So let's just get out all the parts for stage 84. And I have to say, I'm going to do the instructions slightly different because what I want to do is when I'm actually putting these in here, like we did last time, I don't want to uh, interfere with the windows that I'm about to glue in. So I'm going to glue the, I'm going to screw these in first, then glue the windows in. The windows are on this photo etch, as you can see there. So using AP screws again, 
I'm going to get all the bulkheads that I've got here, these brackets, into the position they go. Pretty easy to see where they go because once again, there's just a keyhole pattern. So you can't do it wrong. So they're in position. I'm going to take the windows off of this photo etch. And all I do for these, is rather than get scalpels in them and stuff like that, is I twist them off. Because believe it or not, they come off really, really clean. So let's get all of these off. Gonna need my magnifying glasses for this. <laughs> Using my glue it glue rather than my Gorilla glue because this is a lot thinner. And I'm gonna be touching some glue just into the window frames. And get these in position. And when you're happy with that, it should look like that. I'm gonna do exactly the same on the other wall panel. And by the power of editing, there's the second one done too. So bringing up these wall panels, they're just going to be going in this way. So one in here. The other one's going to be going in the other side just over here. You can see now why I put those brackets in last. And again, my PH1 screwdriver, three on each side to hold these into place. So they're in, as you can see there. Also in, ensure that these bulkheads are engaged into the floor there like that. But last thing to do on this is just turn this upside down. And whereas we put a light in here, we're gonna be doing exactly the same thing on this side, but this one's gonna be going in here like this. So again, line it up, hold it from the underside and clip it in. One and two, perfect. We do have a lead for this, which we're not using, but that, well, we will be using it, but not yet. But that's all there is to do in that stage. Now in stage 85, I don't need this at all. So I can actually put this to one side. We're not actually going to need it for the rest of the pack. So this is stage 85. We're going to be continuing with the hole. So uh, just flicking through. And as you can see, we've got this piece here. We're putting some BM screws in there by the end of it. It's going to look just like that. Now in this stage, I've got LM screws and BM screws. It's the BM screws I need first. I'm actually going to be putting BM screws into the holes just here. And also on the other side here. They're not holding anything in. So I'm a little bit confused why we're doing that. <laughs> but they want them fully tightened in. So that's what I'm going to do. So on there. I am putting these into oil. to help drive these in and this one's number two and then bringing the ship over and probably best on the top camera I don't know what camera might be able to see it actually if I tilt it like that this is panel L10 here next to L10 I'm going to be putting L12 and this is just going to go into the two points just there and I've got an LM screw which is a hex screw it is flanged it's just going to go in here and I'm going to keep all of this together. So make that as tight as I can get it. I have put some oil on this. Once I've got one in, that'll ensure this is in place like that. And I'll just put the second one in underneath. Now I can say, probably best on the uh, side camera, that by adding this piece in here, I'm now going to have to find a new home to store this. <laughs> I don't know where. We will find out. But with them tightened up, that is all there is to do in that stage. So that leads us to the last stage of this pack, stage 86. Here's the magazine. And once again, we've got another piece of hull that I'm guessing is probably the other side, looking just like this. So by the end of it, oh, actually, it's the top piece for what we've just put in. So we are still continuing on that side. So once again, we've got BM and LM screws. And once again, I'm putting some BM screws just into these points down the bottom. But I don't know why. <laughs> They're not holding anything in, as you can see. So uh, who knows? Perhaps we're using them later on to uh, add something in. And we just need the screws in place, I guess, that we undo later to attach something. So they're in. 
don't need my screwdriver anymore, but I do need the LM screws. So I've just brought the ship back up again. And where we put this bit in, this bit is going to go in this way on top here, just like that. Now, you do want to make sure that it fits underneath this plate here when we put it in so that this red plate is over the top of the black one there. Uh, and it's just a case of putting the LM screws in place to hold that in. So I've got that here and I'll screw both of these in place. And with those two in place, that's how that looks. That's all there is to do in that stage. And that is all there is to do in that pack. It's getting big, isn't it? Wow. Let's gently put that down. Once again, if you want to get this for yourself, I have put a link in the video description and there's a QR code on the screen. But I really hope you liked that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.